Hey guys, so for this video, we are taking you on our journey from Kyiv to beautiful Lviv, located in western Ukraine near the Polish border. We booked a one-way flight on a local airline known as Windrose that ran us $54 per person, including check-in bags. Hello. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Okay. It's... Where are you going to? Lviv. We had plenty of time before our flight, so we headed over to the MasterCard Lounge. The lounge was spacious with plenty of seating and had a wide assortment of snacks and drinks. Not a bad place to relax before our flight. Airports in Ukraine aren't as massive as the ones we're used to back home, so it's pretty standard to be taken from the gate to your plane in a bus, especially when it comes to domestic flights. All in all, we were pretty impressed with our short one and a half hour flight on a prop plane. Once we arrived in Lviv, it was pretty much the same process of boarding a bus to be taken to the arrivals hall to collect our bags. It used to be a lot more cumbersome in Ukraine when navigating transportation options, but times have changed and ride shares are now more commonplace. You can now easily request an Uber from your phone. Our trip from the airport to our hotel in the center of town was only $4.44. Uklan is another alternative to Uber and provides similar value. just arrived in Lviv and we got to the Ibis hotels where we're staying at. We weren't able to check in yet because we're a little early. It's about noon and check-in is at three, but we scored the terrace, the room with the terrace. Yeah. I scored it. I scored it, honey. How do you, you feel? You scored. I feel so proud. Even more proud than Italy. So in order to kill time, we're going to walk around a little bit and we're going to head over to, what was the name of this place? Maybe to Krivka or to Beer. Such a Pravda. Pravda, okay. We'll see if we're gonna find Krivka because I don't remember how it looks like. Yeah, immediately when we landed and we got out on, into the Uber on the way to the hotel from the airport, I could tell the city is completely different from all the other cities in, in Ukraine that I've been to. This one has a much, much more Western European feel. It's the architecture is completely different, Ar uh, cobblestone roads. Of course, that's only in the center of town though, right? Yeah, so, but it still has some Ukrainian vibe. Yeah, it has a Ukrainian vibe still, but it just in general though, it's completely different. It, it's a total, it's like a pretty cool vibe. I like it so far and I've only been, we've only been here about 15 minutes. <laughs> Welcome. This is our room. The Ipa style city center in Lviv. Lviv. Welcome to our room. Looks weird, huh? Very, very progressive design. Here you have our bed. Night table. Night table. Okay. Okay. This, this whoa, is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone gonna. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Somebody's gonna see my pussy when I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> Somebody is gonna see my big dick when I take a shower. Small TV. Small TV. 
Coffee and table. Uh, is this the refrigerator? No. Nothing there. Okay, some closet space. Up oh, there's the safe. Safe. And other toilet. Look at this. Look at this shower. Look at Stand up shower. shower five. Nine. Very cool. Very cool. I'm impressed actually. Stays at the Ibis City Center included breakfast and was served in the restaurant in the lobby just next to the check-in counter. We were there during the week and it never felt like it got crowded. We were pretty impressed by the selection of both hot and cold options. What was nice is that the selections varied day to day. One interesting thing about this restaurant is that during lunch and dinner, it transforms into a completely separate establishment, the Celentano Italian restaurant. After a good night's rest, we decided to stick close to the hotel and stroll around the city center to take in all the beautiful and picturesque architecture. It's always a treat to see all the babushkas line the sidewalk selling all sorts of goods from flowers to fruits and vegetables and more. Unlike other cities in Ukraine, Lviv is unique in that it looks and feels a lot more like a city from Western Europe like Vienna or Rome. From the cobblestone streets to the many sculptures and churches, you'll find Instagram-worthy shots around every corner. This was the Bernadine Monastery, which felt like a fortress surrounded by castle walls, giving us that true medieval ambiance. Just on a side note, if you're looking for the popular meat and justice restaurant, it's found within the Bernadine Monastery. Highly recommended, even though it's somewhat of a tourist attraction. founder of BDSM. Here's his pocket, and if you put your hands here, you touch his dick. But wash your hands after, because so many people put their hands here. It could have herpes. It can have everything. It can even have all AIDS. kinds of STDs. Even super AIDS. Super AIDS. Unique and amazing bars, restaurants, and shops line the streets in and around the city center. So much so, that you definitely won't get bored exploring them all. The most happening spot in the city is Rinox Square. Reminiscent to town squares you see in Western Europe, it's a magnificent area to be in. Whether you want to sit and enjoy a bite to eat at one of the many sidewalk cafes or shoot some photos, be prepared for the crowds of tourists that flock to this spot.
As the sun sets, be sure to take a stroll down Prospects for Body Street, taking notice to all the locals and tourists alike, socializing and chilling till you hit the famous Lviv National Academic Opera and Ballet Theater. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, hit that thumbs up button down below and please consider subscribing to our channel.